Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here, back with another drawing video. Um, it is Sunday, so we're back at it again. In today's video, we're going to be drawing Werehog Amy, but um, not just normal Werehog Amy, Sonic Boom Werehog Amy. Um, not to be confused, because I do have a Werehog Amy how to draw video, but that's for uh, standard Amy. So we're doing the boom design, just as the Werehog. And this video was requested by um, Ryan the... Tenrec? I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that last name right. T-E-N-R-E-C. Um, thank you so much for uh, the request, Ryan. And uh, yeah, and honestly, there's not much difference between Werehog Boom Amy and normal Werehog Amy. So um, if you're having any trouble, maybe see the other video I did up on my channel and just kind of use both of them if you're having trouble drawing Werehog Amy. Um, cause she, she's a, a rather tough character. I'd say this is characters like a mid difficulty. But, um, without further ado, let's jump into it. So get your pencils ready and let's get to it. All right, guys. So to start off drawing, um, Werehog Boom, uh, what we're going to do is start with a nice big circle. This is where her head's going to be and keep this all light. We're just doing a gesture right now. So we're going to get a nice decent sized circle for her head and then another little circle kind of underneath here. This is going to be her, like her upper body. And then kind of like another little lower one right here is going to be kind of where her waist starts. And then we're going to get like kind of like a little skirt here. And then we're just going to get one leg that goes down and it'll stop about here. And then this leg is going to go out and then down and then be about here. And then she's going to have a hand that stretches outwards like this. And her shoulder and her arm will go in that way. She's going to have another hand right about here. And then we can draw a straight line, kind of on a diagonal. And then we're going to have the hammer right about here. So that's pretty much good for the gesture that we need. So we're going to just jump into detail here. So we're going to start with her face. If you want to, you can kind of draw in the crosshairs. They'd be something like this. But what we're going to start off with drawing is her kind of like eyebrow. So what we're going to do here is get a nice little curve line like this. And then we're going to go down. And then curve it up and over like that. This is very similar to how we draw Sonic. And then... Um, Next one's going to curve down and just go in the opposite direction here. And you can keep this side light because she's going to have a bunch of hair cover in it. So you will have to erase it eventually. But once we got this shape down, um, we could start drawing in our muzzle. So our muzzle is going to be this nice curve line that goes across like these two lines like this. And then here it's going to go down. Kind of get to like a corner here and then go up. And it's going to round off and go over and around like this. And again, I'm keeping this light just for now. Um, and then we could actually finish off our eyes here. So you start about here a little bit before this line ends and just draw a curve line going in like that. And it should intersect nicely with that line. And then same thing on this side. But again, keep the side light. Um, so yeah, now we got like her kind of face. Now we could draw on her nose, but her nose is just this nice little curve line like this. And then a little U underneath. And you could draw a little half circle right here. And you could shade this in if you want. Like that. And then we'll do her mouth. So her mouth will start about here. And just be a curve line that curves out and then goes downwards like this. And then it'll go down at this angle. And then you're going to get like another curve that goes up and then down like that to make her look like she's like frowning. And then she's going to curve into this line right here like that. And then for her teeth, you could draw a line going out. And then you get like these jagged lines like that. Because uh, again, she's a werehog, so like her teeth are like sharp. And just to uh, kind of fix her muzzle to go along with this shape, we're going to just extend this out and then basically just put the bump in there so like this bump we're just putting it in the muzzle here and then goes up over and then it would just follow this line and go into the face there 
And now we can draw in our eyes, which our eyes are these big ovals. So we're going to get one, and then a second one right here, like that. And then we're going to get a half circle in the upper corner here. And then a smaller oval on the bottom, or inside, on the bottom of this line. And the half circle, same thing on this side. There we go. So that's her face, and that's pretty much it for her face. So we're pretty good in that regard. Um, now for her um, kind of hair or quills or whatever. I always never knew with Amy, because it always looks like hair, but they're probably quills. Um, so we're going to draw hers, and basically we're going to start from this line, and it's going to follow this eye line that we have. So we're going to get a line that goes over and then down, kind of intersect the muzzle right here a little bit with a nice little curve, and then go down like this, <clears throat> and then it'll curve up and over like that. And we're going to only draw in one here, and then we'll draw in, we actually really don't see this one that much. It'd be start about here and just kind of curve over and down like this. So if we were to draw that in. And now what we're going to do, and it's kind of the tricky part, is you want to keep her head rounded. So we're going to draw a nice big kind of circle. Like you want to keep that like nice round shape. Um, that's one of the hard parts about drawing Amy. And a little bit of like Rouge the Bat. I just did Rouge the Bat last week and she has the same problem. It, like they just have very round heads. And the problem with it is like, it has to look exact or, cause like if it looks off, the, the picture just looks wrong, you know? So we're gonna get a nice big kind of circle in here like this. And now we're gonna kind of do off all the uh, spikes from there. So we're gonna start a little bit before this line ends. So right about here and just draw another spike that curves out. I'm gonna curve it away from this spike. So it's gonna go out in this angle like that. And then we're going to just get another little line that kind of curves up and around. And then here what we're going to do, I'm going to turn the paper a little bit, is we're going to start kind of right where this line is. And you're going to just draw a line that curves around the head very close to this line, but not touching it until it gets to about there. And then you're going to draw another one that kind of goes out and does the same thing. This is our hairband, and you can give it a little bit of depth up here, like it's kind of going past her head. And I'll erase any uh, overlap here and darken some stuff in so it's clear. Yeah, her headband's hard too because you gotta keep it going with a round shape. And again, if it's off, it'll look it'll look off. You don't get kind of like the leniency you do with like Sonic because his spikes don't like create the round shape. So now that we got that done, so that we have our headband. Now what we're going to do is kind of go off, follow this circle, and then again this is going to go out and then over like that for another spike. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our ears, and our ears are going to fix a lot of the head problem. So the ears are actually really easy to draw. Um, basically you just draw this big kind of triangle shape that goes out here like that. And with that ear you can actually erase some of the head and the band, hair band or whatever she wears, headband. And then what we're going to do, and you draw this in light because the hair over here is going to cover it up. Um, you basically just draw kind of like a curve line that follows this line. So we're going to go in like that. Start a little bit before this line ends, so right about here, and then just curve it down and then in. And just a little tip, you want this side of the ear to be very close to like this line and you want a little bit more space on this one. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on this ear. So we're just gonna go over, curve it down like that, erase any of the overlap here. And again, the ears make the head look a little bit better. It breaks up that circle. And then same thing, so line going down like that. And then we just complete our little triangle that we have there. So that's good. Now we could draw in her little bangs, or her, I guess they're bangs, yeah. So uh, basically, they're pretty much like this shape, just over here. So we're going to get a little curved one that goes here, and it's going to 
intersect the eye a lot. So it's going to go down here, curve up like that. And then we're going to get a third, or second one that curves over and in like this. And then just a third one that goes up and kind of curves in like that. Again, erase any overlap. And this does help because it does, um, again, break up that circle. So it gives you a little bit more leniency. And then just a little bit, a uh, few more details for the face. You could draw a little curve line that kind of follows the eyebrow line here. Like that, like over her eye. And then you want to add like a series of uh, one, two, three. We can fit four here. A series of just like little spikes. So you basically just draw like a little circle and then a triangle on top. And then um, you just connect the bottom there like, a, like an upside down ice cream cone. Like that. So you want little spikes going up, like up her headband. And then the last little detail that we need here is um, she kind of has like frosted tips. So to draw that in, you just draw kind of like a jaggedy spike lines like that. There we go. On all of these uh, little spikes here. Like that. Very simple, and again, I think her head's kind of the hardest part. So, uh, now that we got that down, what we're going to do is draw in her arm and her hand here, because it kind of takes up a lot of space. So, uh, we're actually pretty good spacing for the hand. So, what we're going to do here is um, just basically kind of go into it. If you want to draw gestures, um, you can kind of make it more of a this shape. So, it's like straight on top, and then it goes down, and then over... And then we're going to get um, kind of like ovals for the fingers. So we're going to get one, and we're going to get two, three, and then four. And you want to keep them on an arc. That's always a help, good tip for the hand. And the thumb's going to go out here like this. So we're just going to use this to just go into detail here. So basically what I like starting off with is uh, this top part. So we're going to start about here on the thumb and just draw a curve line curving over. Up, it's going to straighten out when you get on top here and then go down and we're going to stop about there because now we're going to draw on the fingers here and we're just going to go into detail here um, so we're going to start about here and we're going to go down so draw line going down and you want to keep that fingers kind of angular because she's like a strong hands so we're going to go down and then draw a curve line going down like this and then kind of like this weird kind of square shape so it goes down straightens out the bottom goes up and then curves in and over like that and then this finger same thing it's going to curve down you're going to get that weird box shape it's going to go up curve up and over like that so there's another finger and then this finger is going to be slightly closer so it's going to go down we'll start here down box shape kind of go up and the pinky is going to start here and go down over up and then kind of curve into this line here like that and then draw the top knuckles basically all you need to do is draw this kind of like v-shape like this and then a straight line going across like that and now for the thumb we have this line we're gonna curve it down like this and then down again and then just curve it over and then in like that Make that line a little bit too short there we go and now we could draw the nail, and the nail is like kind of um, this curve line, and then it goes down to like a spike, like that. And again, you just want to keep the hand very uh, angular, sharp, so she's basically like making a fist, but like the thumbs out. Um, that's kind of what we're going for here. And then once you got that down, if you want to, you can draw like, kind of like this nice little ring around here. And it, she usually wears a, like a ring bracelet, but we're going to replace it with fur because that's what happened with the Sonic with his werehogness. So um, basically what we're going to do is just follow this um, circle shape, but we're just going to add like little spikes. So just, again, there's no real rhyme or reason, just, just kind of draw a series of spikes going out, make it look fluffy. You just want to kind of follow that curve. That's pretty much it. 
And then for the arm itself, it's just this um, little curve line that intersects the muzzle here and then just billows out, so it goes out and then out like that. And we will see, I'm gonna erase some of the overlap here. Just so it's nice and clear in the, whoop, nice and clear in the video. I'm gonna complete this again. Um, I did include the uh, um, sports tape that she wears, because again, this is Boom Amy. So we're gonna just draw a nice little curve line there like that. And then basically for sports tapes, you just draw a series of um, parallel lines, kind of like intersecting one another. Um, you kind of want to keep them all in the same direction to make it look like they did it like with a method, but um, you just kind of draw a series of parallel lines that intersect. So now that we got uh, her head and her hand done, we could draw in her body. So her body is actually not that tough. Uh, we're going to start about here, like in the crease of the jaw, and we're just going to draw a line going out and then in like this and then she has like this um, sports tape around her waist almost like a belt um, or like a sash so we're going to just draw a curve line on the bottom here and it's going to curve up like that and then here what I like to do is draw a line going out curve it in and around like that and then just draw a line going in like that Nothing too complicated, and again, very sports-like tape. So, again, we're gonna go back to drawing those series of parallel lines that like intersect and go all over the place. You don't want to be too. I was a little. I was a little too like equal with it. Make it start looking like a pattern. You just kind of want like intersecting in weird places. You don't want it to look like a like a pattern or like a fabric. You want to look like it's just tape going all over the place. So now that we got that down, we kind of draw in just to finish off the top part. So she has kind of like um like a zipper or like a fold in the jacket here. So you can just draw that with a line curving up and then over like that. And if you want to, you can kind of draw like a little curve line right here. Just show her sleeve. And then um, she has a button here. But what I like to do is since it's a button, I'm going to just replace it with a spike like that because again the wear hog they got weird like metal spikes for some reason and now we could draw on this sh the skirt so the skirt's pretty easy and we can follow this shape that we have pretty closely so it's just going to go out go down and the bottom of the skirt is going to be all ripped up so you just rip it up and we're going to have this line that continues it so if we we're continuing it it would go here start about here and then just curve over and down so you want this distinct line and then the rest of the skirt can just be torn up and kind of curve up there like that. And then again, we're going to get another two buttons here, and then there'd just be little spikes going out like that. And now we could draw in her legs and feet. So her legs are pretty simple. They're just two parallel lines going down like this. They're going to stop right about there, darken them in. And then what we're going to do is get a nice little curve line that intersects them. And very similar to the um, hand we had there, we're going to get another little oval. And then we're going to do the same treatment where we just kind of do kind of jagged spikes. Just kind of going all over the place. Like that. And now we could draw on her shoe, which I think we're actually going to get cut off again, just like I did the last one. Uh, but it's okay, because when we do this shoe, um, it'll, we'll have a whole bunch of space. So basically what you're going to do is just get like a nice little kind of shoe shape. So it's going to be a line going down, kind of curves over, straightens out about there, then goes up, and then in like that. So you should get a shape that looks something like this. And we'll just go into detail here. So she has like this... Um, I guess it's like a strap almost. So you get this little like rectangle on top. Like that. And it'll have two spikes on the end here. So you could just draw very similar to the buttons, just draw a triangle or like an upside upside down ice cream cone. I'll erase any overlap. Like that. And then it will have a nice little strap on there like this. 
I'll just curve down. And then the front of her shoe is just this big U shape, like that. And then just two lines going down it. And then this is part of the shoe that's going to get cut off, and it's going to be the heel part. Basically, what you want to do is draw a nice little curve line that hugs the bottom of the shoe very closely. And then all you need to do is just draw a line going down at the edges here, here, and here. And then just kind of connect them in. Again, we're going to cut off a little bit, but it would just go around and connect. So there's that shoe. And you want to keep them big and like kind of beefy because, again, she is a, in, in like the werehog state. So um, she's not like petite like she is in a boom. And um, she also has like leggings that would uh, cut off like right about here. So we're not going to really see them. Um, but you could draw them all ripped up. So you can just draw little jagged lines here like that to show where like leggings are ripped up and now we are going to jump into the other leg here so what we're going to do is start about here and draw a line going over and then bend it down like this and it's going to stop out there and this line is going to go up and then curve in like that and then we're going to get a curve line that intersects those two lines and then we're going to get a nice big oval here and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on the last leg. So just those jagged spikes just kind of go out that just follow this circle that we have like that. And now we're going to get the this shoe shape, but it's going to be more on like a, an angle. So it would kind of go down and then over like this, kind of round off, straighten out near the bottom here, and then curve back towards the leg here and then up like that so you should get a shoe shape that looks something like this and now we're going to get that rectangle that's right here so it's going to just be this nice big rectangle shape on the sides we're going to get two big spikes and then here we're going to get that curve line that's in the front of the shoe here darkening this a little bit and then you're going to get a curve line here, and you just see a little bit of it on um, this side. And then we're going to get the strap here. And now what we're going to do is draw that line that hugs the bottom of the shoe very closely, like that. And then just draw a line going down here, and then going down here. And then this line will just hug that top line like that. So it's pretty good, and now all we need to do, and if you want to finish off uh, the skirt here, you could draw kind of like more jagged lines that go through the back of it, like that. So you get like this front set, and then you get like a back set there. And we could also uh, rip up the uh, leggings here. Like that. Very good. And now we just need to finish off her hammer and her hand here, and those aren't too bad. So what we're going to do here is, um, this is actually a pretty good placement for the hammer. We might get cut off a little bit on top here. But basically what you want to do is you want to draw a nice thin cylinder here. So you do that by drawing like a very elongated oval. And then just draw two lines going down here and here like this. And then you just draw a nice little curve line connecting the bottom. So you should get like a cylinder or soup can type shape. And again, keep it light because uh, this is just gesture right now. And very similar to the shoe, we're going to get a line that hugs this bottom line very closely. And then it's going to go out and then hug it again. And you want to keep that roundness. And then here, it's going to go in and then in, and then just curve around like that. So that's pretty good. And now we're going to do the, the same thing on the top, but we're going to see it from a slightly different angle. So basically what we're going to do is get a nice curve line like this. And then it's going to go up, and then we're going to get another curve line like that. And it's going to go down. And now here, we're going to get a line going up and up. And now we get that oval. 
So we get another curve line that follows these two curves that we have. And then we just draw in the oval there for the top of the hammer. It's a little complicated, but again, if you just take a good look at it, it's not that hard to draw in. And I'll erase uh, any overlap we have here. Just kind of leave in the details. Like that. And then actually this is pretty good as well. So I'm going to darken in this. All right. And then um, what we could do is on the edges of this hammer, there's spikes on it. So again, we're going to be drawing those ice cream cones again. So you get one here, one here. And a good tip is you kind of want to angle them like from the center. So if the center points here on like the oval. So you want this one going out this way, this one kind of pointing that way. This one over here will kind of point like out this, it's really big. Out this way like that. This one will go out, kind of point out that way. Cause you want to make it look like they're going around the, uh, around the hammer here. And then same concept for the bottom section here. So spike going out here in the middle. This one's kind of going out in this way. This one's a spike. Get a little bit of that one over here. Get a little tiny spike right there. And then just for a, a little bit more detail, we can darken in this shape right here because we're going to use it. And then basically what you can do is kind of section it off by drawing a very cur like a curve line like that. And then a curve line right here. And then you're going to make like these rectangles. So you're going to get one rectangle here and then another rectangle right here. And basically what you're going to do is just darken in this rectangle that we made. And then this one as well. And you could erase uh, the guidelines that we have because you, you don't want them connected. Like that. And then you're just going to give them a little bit of depth. So to do that, in this corner, you're going to just draw a straight line going out, and then a line going up, and then over. And then same thing on this side. So a line going out, up, and then over, like that. And now the hand is nowhere near as bad as the hammer. So the hand's actually pretty easy. So this is a pretty good placement for it. So we're just going to go into detail here and just draw a nice little curve line like this. And now what we're going to do is draw the handle and then we're going to draw the hand like around it. So the handle is just um, kind of just two kind of straight lines going out here. So the one going out like that, extend this out a little bit more. And then one going out like this, it's going to go up and they'll connect right about there with a spike. And then here you just draw a line going off and then over. And then here you draw a line going off over and then you get kind of like little bumps for the knuckles here so you get one for this finger two three and then the fourth one just kind of rounds off like that and um yeah and then you can just darken in the edge of the stick here and that's how you draw um boom werehog uh amy from sonic boom there's no easy way to say that title um so yeah that's pretty much it um, I'd say this is a, a pretty, this is one of the more difficult characters to draw because like there's just a lot of detail to it. But um, I will put the sketch that we just did right there. Well, you stay. And I'll put the drawing that I did beforehand up there as well. And um, there you have it. That's how you draw um, Amy Boom as a werehog. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you again, Ryan, for the request. Uh, I do appreciate the requests. If you guys have them, I do take them. All you need to do is leave what you want me to draw in the comment section below. I'll take your name. It's not going to stay up. It's actually going to fall. There's just no saving it. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll leave what you want in the comment section below. I'll put them on my list, and then I will uh, hopefully get to it uh, sometime in the near future. So uh, anyway, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It really helps me out, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye. Later.